grandmother uh, to Britain. And I was listening to the uh, Prime Minister a short time ago, Liz Truss, used this word, called her the rock upon which uh, Great Britain was built, and also said she is the spirit of Britain. And that came back to my mind as I listened to you um, almost try to, to make it through your answer, if you will, because you all are impacted. Um, the world is going to mourn. But for you, what does spirit of Britain, what does that mean? I think it's, it's the, we've not known anything different. It's the continuity. It's when we've just gone through two years of a pandemic. We have economic downturn. We have a war with Russia and the Ukraine. And she was our constant. She was our rock. She was you know, the, the, the person we knew that would not let us down. Um, and I do think that the world is just going to, to, to wake up to the fact that she's not there anymore. You know, not only was she our head of state, but she was you know, a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother. She was the supreme governor of the Church of England. She was the head of the armed forces. There were so many other facets to the Queen. And it's going to take time for us to realise that what we've been used to has gone. Has gone. And, and Elsa, you know, we, we talk about the Queen and her, and her duty and her incredible passion to serve her people. And we see her as a world leader and we see all that she's done, the, the, the rock, yes, of, of Great Britain and certainly for so many around the world. But you knew her on a personal level. You were her press secretary. Talk about Elizabeth, the woman, the, the woman you knew and loved and served on a personal level. I, I'd love to hear your reflections and maybe some of your fondest memories of Queen Elizabeth II. I think her, her kindness, I think her amazing ability, even after being on the throne for 70 years, she could still find something on a pretty, maybe, fundamental engagement, something pretty standard. She will come back and she will stand there and say, did you hear that little boy say something about his teacher? Or did you hear what the professor said? Or, you know, there was always something, there was always something that the Queen would find that was interesting and new, even after 70 years on the throne. Um, so I think that was remarkable. Her, her sense of humour, her kindness, you know, we would all get a gift at Christmas. She would always remember something. I remember um, the state visit by President and Mrs Obama, um, and we were standing at a reception, and the Queen was walking towards me with President Obama, and she said, Mr. President, I want to introduce you to my press secretary. Her husband is in the Navy. And I thought, my golly, I just couldn't believe it. The Queen took her time out to introduce the President of the United States to me, you know, just you know, one of her household. And that's just another element of extraordinary kindness and generosity that she kept on, kept on displaying. Uh, Elsa, it was incredible to hear you say that.